Why do we put our lives in danger for the sake of a thrill? It's a question that's been asked for centuries, and yet the allure of the extreme sports and risky behaviour persists. From jumping off cliffs to climbing mountains and skydiving, some individuals are willing to risk it all for the rush of adrenaline. But why? What drives us to engage in such dangerous activities? Dean Potter, a famous extreme sportsman, and Graham Hunt, a fellow climber, jumped off a 7,500-foot cliff in Yosemite National Park on May 16, 2015, with the intention of either parachuting or using a wingsuit to soar across the jagged rocks to safety. Unfortunately, both men crashed and died while attempting to fly through the outcropping. Base jumping and alcarim and structures like bridges, antennae, cliffs and mountaintops has resulted in at least 257 deaths according to the major base jumping forum. Similarly, climbing mountains like Everest can be deadly. From 1998 to 2014, over 800 people died climbing Naples mountains, including Everest, and yet, despite the potential danger, people continue to engage in extreme sports. Physiologists believe that people engage in risky behaviour as a result of our fear, fear response. Fear is a natural reaction to the perceived danger, and our body's first priority, priority is to protect itself. But for some individuals, overcoming fear is a meaningful and constructive event in their lives. And the rush of the adrenaline in their experience is seen in the positive experience rather than a negative one. However, the rush of adrenaline is not the only factor that drives individuals to engage in extreme sports. It's been scientifically proven that our brain chemistry changes when we participate in such activities. When we jump out of the aeroplane or climb a cliff, our, our megaldal, an almond-shaped set of neurons in the brain, releases hormones that quicken our heart, shapen and sharpen our senses and prepare our bodies to flee or flight, the fear response. And when we experience fear, our brain's reward center releases massive amounts of dopamine. Dopamine is a powerful reward chemical in our bodies, and it's been linked to the relocation of terror in studies. It's released when we eat, exercise, or talk to our friends and family. It reinforces healthy behaviors by making us feel good about doing them. But it also aids in the recall of things that we are afraid of. Dopamine, dopamine release is strongly linked to drug use and addiction, which is why extreme athletes and enthusiasts are often associated with junkies or addicts. Extreme athletes instill fear in themselves, experiencing the fear of death and reaping the nat natural high from the dopamine release, release that follows. The problem is that the brain can become accustomed to these high levels of dopamine, necessitating more extreme events in order to simply enjoy day-to-day -day life. A sensation-seeking behaviour language was developed to describe heavy drug users. Apart from the fact that these activities are enjoyable and make people feel good, the fact that once the brain becomes accustomed to these higher levels of dopamine, it's difficult to wean off like an addict. To achieve the same high, the brain craves more dopamine. Finally, the risk and reward are real, and people can change their brain chemistry to experience this natural high from activities such as base jumping. So why do people continue to engage in extreme sports, even when the risks are so high? It's a complex question and no simple answer. For some individuals, it's a thrill of pushing themselves to their physical and mental limits. For others, it's a rush of adrenaline that comes with danger. And for still others, it's the desire to change their brain chemistry and experience in natural high that's difficult to achieve in any other way. While extreme sports may be thrilling, despite the less risky nature of some extreme sports, such as long distance running and the risk of injury and death is still present. However, for some individuals, the rush of adrenaline and the sense of accomplishment that comes with completing a difficult or dangerous task outweighs the potential risk. In fact, some people even report feeling a sense of invincibility and confidence after participating in the extreme sports. Another fact, factor that may contribute to the appeal of extreme sports is the sense of community and camaraderie that comes with participating in these activities. Many extreme athletes from close bonds and others who share passion and adrenaline fueled experiences. They may feel a sense of belonging and acceptance within this community and they do not experience in other areas of their lives. Despite the potential risks and addictive nature of the extreme sports, it is also important to note that 
not everyone who engages in these activities does so in a reckless manner. Many extreme athletes take safety precautions and train extensively to maximise the risks involved. However, accidents can still happen. It is crucial for individuals to weigh the potential risks and benefits before participating in any extreme sport. In conclusion, extreme sports and risky behaviours can be appealing to some individuals due to the rush and adrenaline and sense of accomplishment that comes with these experiences. However, the addictive nature of dopamine release and the potential of the injury and death should not be overlooked. It is important for individuals to, to carefully consider the potential risk and take necessary safety precautions before engaging in an extreme sport. Moreover, it is essential for the society to recognise the significance of extreme sports and the unique challenges that come with them. Rather than stigmatising extreme athletes and, and reckless or and irresponsible, we should strive to understand the underlying physiology and psychology factors that drive them to engage in these activities. This understanding can help us develop strategies to minimise the risks involved while still allowing individ individuals to pursue their passions. Additionally, it is important to provide education and training on safety measures and risk assessments to those interested in the extreme sports. This can include providing information on proper equipment, training techniques and emergency procedures in case of an accident. By prompting responsible and safe practicing in extreme sports, we can help reduce the number of injuries and deaths associated in these activities. Furthermore, we should also work to address the social pressures that may contribute to the individuals seeking out extreme sports as a means of coping with stress and anxiety. This can include addressing mental health issues, promoting healthy coping mechanisms and providing support for individuals who may be struggling with addiction. In summary, the appeal of the extreme sports and risky behaviours is complex and multifactored. While the rush of the adrenaline and sense of accomplishment can be alluring, the potential risks and addictive nature to the dopamine release cannot be ignored. It is crucial for individuals to carefully consider the potential risks and take necessary safety precautions before engaging in any extreme sport. Furthermore, society should strive to understand and support the unique challenges faced by extreme athletes, while also promoting responsible and safe participation in these activities.